Saboteur is kind of hard to describe in one nutshell, but to me it's a big open world action sandbox game. It's set in World War II, but it's treated, the war is treated more as a backdrop. We went with a more Indiana Jones type quality to the game where we're kind of the fantasy of the war. So we have things like Zeppelins and we have fictional terror squad enemy soldiers. So it's just big and over the top, but it's an open world sandbox that we let the player play the way they want to play. We have a lot of different fantasies that really came with being a saboteur. There's blowing things up, which is a key element to being a saboteur, but also being able to sneak around and break a neck and take a disguise and use that to get into where you, your objective. But then when things get crazy and the guns start, alarms go off and the guns start firing, we have a, a very dynamic kind of gunplay and cover system in the game. So the player can really just adapt to the situation the way, however they really want to play the game. We wanted personal motivations for the game, and so ours is about revenge in our game. And Sean, who's a race car driver, starts the game. You actually race early in the game. And uh, a friend of his gets killed after the race, and that basically puts him off on a vengeance quest from then on. He works with the resistance and the SOE basically to get revenge. We have a general sabotage mechanic, so you're planning things like you know uh, dynamite on things, or we have a, a fictional kind of remote detonation device that we have in the game. But you end up blowing up things like zeppelins. You can blow up. There's a train, which is a big fantasy. We wanted to blow up trains in the game. Um, and there's another spot actually in, where you're actually in one of the zeppelins that's burning on its way to the ground. So you can blow up tanks. There's it's a general thing that you can use whenever you want. You can put it in a car and jump out of the car and the car will blow up. So it's just a, it's a fun tool for the player to use whenever they want. We have a lot of different weapons in the game. They have, but uh, there's different machine guns, pistols, rifles, shotguns, sniper rifles, flamethrowers, rocket launchers, grenades, a couple different types of explosives. Uh, there's also mounted weapons. You can get on mounted like MG42s and things like that. So there's really a whole breadth of different types of weapons the player has access to. About 60% of our game takes place in Paris. And it's a big sandbox, so you can actually go wherever you want. So it's not just limited to Paris. It goes from Paris up to the French coast town of Le Havre, and then actually into a little bit of Germany as well. And then in between, there's this whole countryside filled with giant occupied chateaus that you can go out and fight and earn contraband so you can buy better equipment from the resistance in the black market and there's really kind of there's a lot of stuff to do literally everywhere in the game we really put a lot of work into our character we wanted to make like an, an indiana jones really for our game and a, an iconic character and so he's a little bit of indiana jones a little bit of bruce willis from die hard and a little bit of steve mcqueen in there he's really relatable and he's funny he's tough he smokes he drinks he's got away with women you know he's for us, he's that action hero we always wanted to be, and so there's a little bit of that fantasy fulfillment. Even every time I play with it, I'm just like, I, I love our character, Sean. I really relate to him a lot. So the Saboteur will be out this December um, on the Xbox 360, PS3, and PC as well.